Hey everyone, it's Lisa Jones. I am back. I know I've been a long time gone. I've had a lot of changes in my life and so I'm finally coming back up for air after the day after the eclipse. I feel like the eclipse has set me free and I'm able to finally gather my energy and come back and start doing some readings for you. So if you are here, be sure to put your name in and I will pull some cards because I do have my trusty cards here, my soul coaching cards. <clears throat> And so what I want to do, though, is do a quick reading, first of all, um, to just, you know, about the energy that's going on right now. I know we just had the eclipse yesterday and there was just so much excitement. And my son was actually able to view the whole thing. He's at Clemson University and it went right overhead. And I saw a really cool Snapchat video from him that that just showed the moment that the moon went in front of the sun and everybody just really was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. So um, so that's very cool. So I want to do a reading on that. The other thing I want to tell you, I am so excited. I am starting a brand new podcast and it's all about business and spirituality. Yeah, I've been having so much fun interviewing really successful business people that are either in the business world or they're they're uh, conscious entrepreneurs. And or I, I guess like I, what I like to call them is um, enlightened entrepreneurs and then corporate to conscious people in the corporate world. And what we talk about is how spirituality actually weaves into their business and how they use spirituality or, you know, some people don't even like that word, which it's taken me a long time to be able to own that word myself. So it's about how they use energy, how they use their intuition, how they trust their gut or you know, they just get that knowing feeling. So again, I don't want to claim to know what people like to call it, but I just know that there's some energy that's bigger than us. And I'm super excited to be talking to business owners that are willing to tell me about their process and how they they weave this amazing energy into their business for really their competitive advantage. Although, again, I don't really believe in competition because I believe we're all here and we can all thrive regardless of, of what our circumstances are. So if you are here, be sure to make a comment. And um, oh, there, Alicia, hi, baby, how are you? I miss you so much. I love seeing all your posts on Facebook and your little girl is growing up so quickly. I can't get over it. Um, all right, so let me do a reading about the solar eclipse energy first. And um, and then the other thing I want to say about my podcast, so stay tuned. I'm going to be start doing a lot of social media about how you can sign up and how you can download the episodes. They're about 30 minutes each, so they're not too long, but you can listen to them in your car. I'm going to have a little video, too. And uh, like I said, it's been really, really fun. So here is the reading for this is for everybody about this energy that has just passed and what, you know, kind of what to do next. I mean, we've all been gearing up for this this eclipse and now that it's over it's like now what's going to happen so let's just see here Ooh, looks like some good cards okay hey carla how are you all my all my ridgefield friends are here in the house good to see you guys all right so regarding this energy that's happening right now so the first the thing that's still blocked for a lot of people this is the beauty card and uh so what i'm getting about beauty is that People are still, it's like, um, so the first card is always where you're blocked. So what uh, what's coming through about beauty is that people still can't seem to see the beauty in their own lives. I mean, it's right there. It's everywhere. It's the nature that you look outside. I mean, I'm looking out my window and there's palm trees and, um, you know, beautiful flowers and everything. Oh, that's another thing I need to tell you about. I have moved to Hawaii. Woo! I now live full time in Maui, Hawaii, and I am loving my life so much. I'm thriving here so much, and I feel like I've finally come home. So more on that later. But anyway, the read back to the reading about this energy is that people are still blocked in seeing the beauty in your life. And no matter what kind of struggle you're having right now, the thing to do is look for the little specks of beauty and focus on that because when you focus on the negative things in your life then that's what expands so if you focus on what's beautiful in your life or the things that are you know positive then that will expand so anyway that's the first card the second card which is your action card and i love this this is so perfect it's called purification 
And it is all about clearing out the clutter, getting rid of the stuff that doesn't work, whether that's, you know, in your in your home, on your computer. I mean, how many of us, and I am so guilty of this, I keep all of my emails. So I must have like 10,000 emails and my files on my computer aren't organized. I usually go through every now and then. I just, I can't take it anymore. So I organize them and get rid of stuff I don't need. But purification is the is the cure to really being able to see the beauty in your life because there's so much, uh, when you have so much clutter, whether it's in your mind, in your computer, on your phone or in your house or even in your life, maybe it's friends that you need to get rid of. Maybe it's your job you need to get rid of. Um, maybe you need to move location like I did, you know, maybe, maybe that's what all this purification is. And then when you do that, then your outcome card is surrender. How cool is that? So once you've done some cleaning out, then you can surrender to life. You're going to be in the flow and everything is just going to happen so much more smoothly for you. But the real key, your action step is purification. So clean out that clutter and you will see a big difference in your life. Even if you start with just one drawer, I always like to say, excuse me, um, I always like to say when I'm when I'm trying to do some clutter clearing, it seems overwhelming, you know, there's so much to be done. But if you just start with one drawer, it usually gives you enough energy to get to a second drawer. And then you just slowly but surely work your way through your whole house or on your computer, you know, just start with one section and then just slowly work your way through. So let me pull a few cards and... Um, and let you know what uh, what it says for you. So let me start with Alicia, and I'll pull a card. Alicia, this is for you. Ooh, leadership. So Alicia, for you, I am getting leadership. And the message that's coming through to me for you specifically, Alicia, is to step into your leadership. You are. There's just a lot going on right now, but it's really about stepping into your leadership, your own unique way of being a leader. And um, and you'll see how things shift, because I feel like right now um, you're allowing things to kind of happen without uh, really taking that role of leader because you want things to be a certain way and you're kind of hoping they will. But you really need to step into your power and, and make that happen. OK, I hope that works. Hey, Karen. Good to see you. Awesome. All right. Next card is for Carla. How you doing, Carla? I love seeing those twins. They've also grown up so much. I can't believe it. Oh, commitment. So Carla, for you, it's all about commitment. And again, it's, I always take, it's a little bit of a slant. It's not like necessarily about your relationship as, as much as it is about for yourself. There's something about really honoring yourself and, and honoring that commitment to you that's very important right now. So be sure to look at that and just follow your instincts and follow Maybe there's something you've been wanting to do and you keep putting it off. And, and I know with good reason, you've got lots of lots going on at home. But um, but don't for don't forget to take yourself, um, make yourself first and do a lot of self-care and really allow yourself to blossom because that's what we're all here to do. So that's good. Yay. And then let's see. Um, Karen, let me. Hey, Alma, how are you? All right, Karen, this one's for you. And then Alma's next. So. Ooh, Karen, this is about being in the flow. And I love that because that is exactly what I just talked about with the reading with the with the eclipse, that once you get to that surrender point, then you can just drop into the flow. So it sounds like you're ready, Karen, to go right into that flow right now. It sounds like you've probably done some of that clutter clearing and and you just need to just jump in, just get a little boat and push it out into the river and just let it take you down down the road. So um, great. Oh, you're welcome, Carla. I hope I hope that resonates with you. And again, don't forget, uh, watch. I'll be having posts about my new podcast coming up and it's going to launch September 6th, I think the day after Mercury retrograde. And um, so yeah, it's going to be I'm just so excited about it. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. So um, so watch for my podcast. Let's see. Um, so that was for Karen. I think Alma, this is for you. Let's see. Hey, yeah, there is a Lam. I can't. How do you say your name? Lamoin. Lamoin, maybe. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. Fantastic. Yay, clapping, Carla. Woohoo. Okay, Alma. Alma. Hey, hey, hey. This is for you. Let me just find that card. Wait, that is crazy. 
I just got the same card and I totally, uh, I totally, um, what's it called? Shuffled those cards and moved them around. Let me do it one more time, Alma, just because I'm like, that was weird. Did it, my fingers just went right back to you there, but maybe you've got the same card. It's, 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 it's always possible. All right. Well, there's another one. Uh, Grace. Alma for you, Grace. And it's about, again, it's it's similar to flow, but it's about allowing yourself as things happen, just to just to really step into your power and to allow yourself to just relax and um and just turn up what they're showing me is a rheostat. Just turn yourself up really bright and just let yourself be without having to really do anything. So I I hope that helps Alma. Uh so Lamo Lamoine. I hope I could say that right. I wish I could uh, pronounce it perfectly. But let me pull one for you. Oh, my goodness. They don't want to come out. What is going on? All right. Look, this is – you guys saw me uh, do that. So here we go. Look at that. This is the third time this card has come up. So I guess that's just a – that's just a <laughs> – it must be the, the card of the day is flow. So – so there you go. Uh, let me just go back here. There's lots of people on here. This is fantastic. I'm so happy to see you all. This is great. Uh, La Moine, it's all about flow for you. So just allow yourself to stop pushing against the tide. Stop pushing against the river. They're showing me like you're trying to go upstream rather than just get in one of those boats that's going by and just go with it. And, and you'll see things will just start to open up. I feel like there's a dam right now. Like it's showing me, like I feel like this really big dam in your heart. And that as soon as you jump in and just allow the flow, it's gonna open up and you're just gonna have much more smooth sailing. I'm not telling you it's gonna be 100% clear skies, but uh, it'll be easier to sail down this river when you go with the flow. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, so let's, See, Donald, yes, absolutely. Let me get you a card, Donald. So great to see you here. And in case you missed it, I am starting a podcast. It's going to be live September 6th. And I want you guys all to sign up and download it from iTunes and give me five stars and all that good stuff and share it with your friends. And, um, <laughs> Oh, good. I almost got it. Oh, I almost I almost said your name right. I'm, I'm glad you'll have to uh, send me a phonetically spelled way to say your name. <laughs> All right, Donald. Let's see. Wow. You got adventure. So, oh, good. Thanks, Donald. I'm so excited. You're going to be there. Listen to my iPod. Yeah, it's all about business and spirituality or, you know, as people like to call it energy or intuition or or whatever it is that they like to use. So, Donald adventure. What I'm getting for you is that you're kind of stuck in this rut. Like you're just doing the same thing. You wake up, you go to work, you come home, you have dinner, you go to bed, you wake up, you go to work. And, and it's just, they're showing me just this kind of rerun. You're like in, um, what's that? What's that movie? Um, 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 Groundhog's Day. And it's just going over and over and over. So time for some adventure, Donald. Can you think of something that you could do that that would take you out of your rut and give you an opportunity to, to try something different. So um, that's what they're saying. I hope that helps. Hey, Julie, how are you, my love? Julie, Julie, Julie. All right, Donald, I am on point. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the cool thing, I just want to mention, oh my gosh, I just got big chills. Thank you, Donald, because uh, you just reminded me. On my podcast, when I interview these business people, I actually do a three-card reading for them on the podcast. How cool is that? They love it. Everybody is just like, whoa. So it's it's been really, really fun. So again, make sure you tune in. And um, Julie, how are you, baby? I know, right? I think I think Hawaii agrees with me. I literally just got back from the beach. This is my hair, just absolutely natural dried after I took a shower and um, you know, had breakfast on my lanai and I have like just some mascara on and a little bit of lip gloss. I mean, this is me. I'm just so happy here. I can't even begin to tell you. Here I am singing. I don't even sing. Uh, <laughs> this is so fun. I haven't done one of these in months. Seriously. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I truly, truly, I'm like in tears to have you guys here with me today. Whew, it feels so good. It feels so good. So, um, Julie, let me pull you a card. Ah, look at you opening and I feel like your heart is 
is, I mean, that's a, obviously that's a picture of a heart that I do. I feel like there's this opening, this love opening in your heart. I don't know if there's a new person in your life or, um, you know, maybe there's some, there's some oh, real, real heart opening going on for you right now. And I really, I feel like it's a love interest. I, I mean, I'm just going to be blunt and say, uh, say that's, that's what's coming out. So I hope that's true. We're going to have to catch up, Julie, and see, see how things are. But, um, I'm so I'm so happy for you and and even I was gonna say even if it's not a love interest I just your heart is just is just expanding you know and again with this eclipse I feel like all of our hearts are expanding we've all come out of um, the other side the out of the darkness and into the light and and it's just a perfect time to be alive and to let our let ourselves shine fully and to allow us to to be that light for everyone in our lives. I think that's really important right now. There's so much going on. And I have to say, since moving to Hawaii, I do not watch the news. I have very little. I get a little bit of information off of Twitter, but I try to just really stay away from it just because um, I just want to be the light in this world. So that's what I'm focusing on. And uh, good, good, good. So let me just see Julie and then Karen. <laughs> Karen, I know you haven't. I've missed you. Yes, I've missed you, too. And uh and Maria, how are you? Good, good, good. Let me, pull, let me pull a card for you, Maria. Oh my God, it's so, so good to be here. Oh, and I might get cut off because I'm on this new Be Live thing and I I, I, uh, I only have like 20 minutes, so I don't know how long I've been on here, but um, <laughs> let me pull your card. Oh, so Maria, you're back. This is one of the cards that was in the original reading about purification. So it's time to clean out, get rid of the clutter, and that's gonna help so much in your life. When you start moving, the stuff that's too much in your life, again, whether it's on your computer or, um, you know, in your life, in your house, it is going to clear it all up. So listen, if, if you all if you didn't get a card and you're jumping on late, I'm going to put one last card. This is for you if you didn't get your name in and, and call and I didn't get you a specific card. Ooh, take action. Here you go. This is your card. So if, if I didn't call your name. This is your card for you. So you got to take action. Life is fantastic, but if you want anything to change, you have to take your steps toward action to start moving in the direction that you want to change. So, um, oh my gosh. Okay, Amber, last one. Your last one. Seriously, last call for Amber because I'm going to have to sign off before they cut me off because I think I only have 20 minutes and then they cut me off. So Amber, acceptance. New stages of a huge endeavor. There it is. Acceptance. Just allow yourself to accept what comes your way and just be okay with it. Don't push back. Just realize that sometimes there's going to be setbacks, but bigger things can can uh, come out of that. And I just had a big doozy of a one this, this past weekend. If anyone saw my article for about two hours online and then it got pulled down because um, I did an interview with Doreen Virtue and um, and she shared some really big news and then it kind of came out not the way that uh, she had hoped it would. So so she and I are working together right now and getting that all sorted out. And I just send Doreen love and light. And I, I just um, I pray that you are all well. And uh, oh, there's Kaden, my love. How are you? She's just on the other side of the island. Hey, Kaden, we got to get together uh, anyway. Have a wonderful day. I love you all. And I will be back soon, very, very soon. And don't forget, sign up for my, my podcast. It airs September 6th, and I will be sending lots of social media about it out. So I love you. Love and blessings.